an alcohol marker and colour them in. Of course, you can do that. But equally, if you want to play around with movement and colour and all of the good stuff and play with all of the lovely uh, consumables we get from all of the other lovely brands as well, you can use those with. So in this particular collection, Joe, we get the two A5 stamp sets. So you get two gowns, all with complementing sentiments, which are wonderful and are going to see you through the whole year. But in this particular collection, there are three light bonus um, embossing folders as well, which work incredibly beautifully with. But if you want to separate them, of course, embossing folders are workhorses and you can use them anytime. So we have daisies, we have magnolia, and then we have the beautiful blue, bloom cluster on there as well. Amazing. 302855, that's the item number if you want to be going for this. If you've got any questions, please do get them into us at studio at creatingcraft.com. Uh, we would love to hear from you in this hour. Maybe you want to share with us some pictures of your uh, makes from your other Stamps by Me products. We would love to see those as well. But as I said at the start of the show, it's already busy. Uh, over 70% of that stock has already sold out and gone. Let's go down and have a little look at some of the other items that we've got on the show for you. We have got some of your, it's sort of your, the Hall of Fame is how I like to I uh, think of these next items we're going to show you. Uh, you were telling us earlier, Tony, weren't you? These are some of your biggest and most popular stamps in this style. They absolutely are, Joe. So maybe if the gowns are a little bit too artistic for you, you're not into the artistic flair or that sort of feel or concept, well, maybe just the watercolour flowers that truly look like hand-painted flowers, maybe these are going to... Um, be something that you like and adore. We always want something that's going to help us strive to look better as crafters, create cards that are above and beyond. And so these are really, really great stamps to help you do that. So this one's Choose Happy. And again, if you can't paint like me, but want the look, then these are the stamps that you need in your stash. So this is your two-part stamp that gives you the very forgiving, free rose look. It could be any flower you wanted this to be. It could be very poinsettia when it's closed up with the red, see if you did it in red, but equally change the colour, change the second layer for a, for a medium of your choice and you will have a whole different look. I'm going to demo one of these hopefully in this, but if not, it'll be 8 a.m. depending on where the stock's going, but yeah. A5 stamp set with beautiful sentiments again. Really good. 041854 if you want to go for that one. There's some other options here for you. This next one that we are looking at here, this is a wonderful day. There's something just to so timeless about florals, Tony, isn't there? I mean, you bring so many beautiful florals. What is it about florals, you think, that really sparks our imagination? I know. Can you believe it, Joe? Um, florals from Stamps by Me. I mean, come on. <laughs> I always do florals. I need to change it up a little bit, let's face it. I keep getting told, is the flowers in the show? Well, of course, there's flowers in the show. And like you said, they are timeless. So again, this one's been done purple ink onto purple cardstock to give you that very soft, lavender-esque feel. But equally, if you want to do it in um, your teals and your pinks and purples, it really will pack a punch. So it's however you want it to look and feel. But you're always going to get that look of a hand-painted card, which is what? makes lamination so incredible. You use one part with colour, second part with a black ink pad, embossing powder, um, grayscale if you want to make it look like a sketch, and then you are good to go. Amazing. 824746 is your uh, item number on there. You've always got so much brilliant inspiration as well when it comes to uh, stamps. I'll ask Tony to talk us uh, through that in a little bit more detail shortly. The next so gorgeous, this one, Tony. It's like someone's off to a fabulous charity ball, is what I think. Yeah, this one's Dress to Express, Joe. <laughs> uh, 462182. <laughs> Four, six, two, one, eight. Joe, I don't know what Tony's giggling you're about. You're laughing at me now, aren't you? You know, <laughs> don't, what, you know why I'm giggling. So I, basically, <laughs> this is your classic gown, ladies and gentlemen, where the lady's looking away, so it can suit anybody of any age. The next one coming up tomorrow, younger in fashion, but this one is for any age. So adorable. It has the full gown. The head is looking away. You can put the gown in any colour, and we have lovely sentiments. Life is not a dress rehearsal. It truly isn't, guys. Dress to express. Strong is the new pretty, I adore you. You are, can't see that word there, stylish, I believe. Does it say that at the top there, Joe? I'm sorry, I have a title you have on my style, TV, so I, I believe can't is what quite it says. see it. You have style. Are you talking to me there, Joe? I am. I'm loving that jacket you've got. You'll have to let me know where it's from after the show. 
I'm one of those for myself. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. 462182, your item number for that one. And then finally, <laughs> uh, Small Town Girl. This one's limited stock. I think this has been the pop most popular uh, in the show. Talk to us as well, Tony, if you would, about inspiration. Once we've gone for your products, what sort of inspiration can we find out there? So with this one, Joe, she's got a shorter gown, very frou-frou. Um, and again, I would probably say this is prom-like, teenager-like. Uh, it's not my age-like. But it's for all of those lovely um, hip kids who are in fashion and um, strutting their stuff. And this is just a small-town girl and love is in the hair because the hair is everything, right? But basically, all of our products that you'll find on Create & Craft have a fabulous QR code on there. If you check the back of the packet there, Joe, you'll see a QR code. Scan the QR code, it'll take you to all of the inspiration of over 1,400 videos of Stamps By Me standing here um, showcasing all of the lines that we've taken to create and craft for the past 12 years. If you're not using a camera, you don't want to use a camera, if you hop over to the other side where the barcode is, there is a code. If you pop that code into the website, you'll get all of the information that you would have got if you'd have scanned the QR code. So you have options. If you're tech savvy, scan the QR code. If you're not, Put the code into the website and it's all there for you lots of different ways to use all of our lamination stamps amazing 268700 if you want to go for that one you will need to be really quick though for that because it is limited stock i mean less than 10 percent of our starting stock is now available so please get on over to the website and get your order placed and get it checked out if you want to get your hands on that one a really quite remarkable deal for you next with a couple of Hero products from Tony and Stamps By Me. Uh, the Eureka, I described it earlier as like the backbone of Stamps By Me. It's exactly what it is. Such an incredible device. We're actually putting that together with a stamp set worth the best part of £19 almost, but also with this as well. And it is your magnetic glass mat. Now, a great deal. Saves you £40 as a club member, this particular deal. However, we've also put it on three interest-free flexible payments as well so 30 pounds a day plus two further payments we were talking earlier about you know why this has been so popular but it sort of becomes more and more popular it seems as time goes by tony the eureka it does and in the new year joe we're launching other products that will work with the eureka so the eureka was born in 2017 and it's just an awesome tool that many people don't have now and it helps you with your scoring your stamping it can be a bead station. It's a true workhorse with all of the kit to come with. And it comes in a carry case too. And then you get the magnetised glass mat, which is a true white mat. So you really can see your colour when you're mixing. You can see if it's dirty. So if you put a piece of white cardstock on, you can see before you actually ruin your cardstock. Beautiful sentiment there to say that you are important. It has all of your increments and all of your sizes on there. And it comes with four magnetic mats magnets which come in like a silicon case to stop them from snapping your fingers together um and they'll not they'll not break when they snap together should they but equally you know it's a kit that's a great i would probably say a great start kit for a new crafter but obviously i'm not a new crafter and i have all of the kit and everybody else has all of the kit but if you have somebody who's maybe just been crafting for 12 months you know i always say this if you're buying a glass mat go big because you'll only go small and have to buy again, and then you'll only have to buy again till you get the biggest that is out there, and then you'll be satisfied. And it's again, it's the same with the Eureka as well. It has the biggest stamping area of any platform, 9.5 9 by 9.5. It has the depth in there to stamp onto a wooden MDF. So it covers it all for you. You don't have to go and buy another one after this one because it does it all. And the items that we're bringing to you in January will work with. Amazing. Uh, busy on that, as it was in the earlier show. 933891 is your item number there. Also, can we just take a moment? We send that out to you for, what, 2 99 And that's cat p, p across the entirety of the show. So especially with those bigger, bulkier items, the P&P &P is really great value here at Creating Crafts. Uh, let's come back to this, though. You're new and exclusive, and actually a world exclusive at that. You're going to be the first crafters globally uh, to get your crafty paws on this particular collection 302855 make a note of that item number remember you've also got two uh, actually now three quarters of the stock gone uh remember you've got those two interest-free flexible payments available to you as well any questions that you do have as i said please get them into us at studio at creatingcraft.com we would love to hear from you in this hour but i can see tony she's like a coiled spring there in wakefield so i'm going to hand over <laughs> uh for a first demonstration all keen to do demos as always 
If I could just do demos, it'd be fantastic, Joe, wouldn't it? But we do need to sell products too. But equally, let's crack on straight into this demo. And then hopefully the first demo will show you exactly how the system works. Then once you grasp the system, you're just going to love the whole of lamination because they're all incredible. Now, if this stock doesn't last this evening and I'm back in the morning, I will touch on some florals and give you an idea of how those work as well. If you buy the gowns, gowns though, scan the QR code because all of lamination is sort of linked. You can see that it all works together. So I'm not going to do a demo first. I'm just going to show you the system, the two-part system, to show you how simple it is and how if you don't quite line them up, you get great results. And then we'll jump into some demos. So um, I did demos on both of these, two of each. So, oh, let's go with the lily first because I went with the lily first last time. So solid portion. So the solid portion is the thickest colour on the um, stamp set here. So you can see this one here is where you're going to pop your colour. Now you can see from the visual here, it's all pink. And earlier in my other demo, I did it in an ombre, which I showed you how to do the purple down into the pink. And then I 3 d the flower on the front there. So you have options. You don't have to use all the same colour. You can do as you please. But for this one, I am going to just do pink because it's just easy just to show you how if you only have a handful of ink pads, you have enough to go with lamination. So pink. So I'm just going to ink up the stamp all over. And then I'm just going to spray with water. So spray once or twice, totally up to you. And then stamp down. So when you push it down, this sort of colour all starts to bleed and blend. Now, you don't have to use both parts. As I explained earlier, we can just use the one part. So now I have an impression of something that looks very artistic. If you have an artistic eye or love everything that's easy on the eye, very forgiving, and you like a little bit of flair in your cards, these are brilliant stamps for that. If you like your clean and simple and your, you know, very refined lines and things like that, these are not for you. These are the, they're going down the path of the artistic flair, which we love at Stamps By Me. So there is your solid portion. So I'm just going to take that off and then I'm just going to take the detailed part. Super, super easy. Now you can use the same colour. So I'm just going to line it up. And the way that I like to line it up is I just take the straps of a gown and just line it up with the straps on the um, coloured part there. Now you can um, stamp it in black and you would, you'll get this look like the really dark black on here. But I'm going to go, um, let's go same colour and see if we can get a little bit of depth in there. But I'm not going to spray this one, okay? So let's just see what it looks like. And because I'm using my fabulous Eureka, if I do it and I don't like it, I'm just going to go over it with black, okay? Um, and make it pop for TV because I really do like to use black because it really does show all of that wonderful detail. So let's see how this stamps. No, let's just try one more time. You can see the details just coming through very slightly there. This is why I do like to use my black ink pad. But I do like to sometimes change it up a little bit. Because tone on tone does look incredibly beautiful. And it is dark in real life. It just doesn't show great there. You can see her arms are there as well. But let's just go over it very quickly in black for those of you that are thinking, I can just see it, Tony. Could you make it a little bit darker? Of course I can. So I'm just going to go over with the black. Super, super easy. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your two-part stamp that's given me something that looks like I picked up a brush and painted it for hours, and I did not. And guess what? We are not going to tell a soul, right, Joe? 855, then. That's the all-important item number that you need if you want to get your hand on this. It is really busy, again, uh, still in this show. I don't know... Uh, what's going to happen tomorrow in the morning shows because it is going really fast. Uh, remember, it is a complete world exclusive. Also, you'll be the first crafter to get your hands on this, which is brilliant. And it is on those two interest free flexible payments. Uh, the website is the place to go because not only do you have this over there on the website, you've got absolutely everything else in the show as well. There are so many uh, gorgeous items for you. Some brilliant savings over there as well. Some real, as uh, really something, uh, a price point, for everyone as well, 5.99 there you can see uh, some of the products are 
Brilliant, brilliant value. You guys are absolutely loving this new and exclusive. Also, I go and have a little look at the deal of the day as well. Some beautiful ribbons uh, from Dawn Bibby. So make sure you go and check those out too. But make a note of that item number 302855. Remember, you are getting two brand new A5 die, um, stamp sets included within here in that lamination style that you love so much. And then you're also going to get the three embossing folders as well. So many beautiful examples of the things that you can be creating using this very collection um, here in the studio. Uh, and again, what I love about it, changing up the color, changing the styling, beautiful sizes as well. So if you want to incorporate them into multiple different card concepts, then absolutely you're going to be able to do that as well. And all you need to part with is $22.49 today plus your postage so maybe this is going to be a journey into a new sort of more artistic style of crafting for you maybe you need something to get your creative juices flowing this side of christmas that's not going to break the bank absolutely uh, this can be either of those three zero two eight five five there's panic setting in in the gallery almost 80 percent I've just been told uh, of the stock has gone. Uh, so please do get that order placed if you want to get it. We will, do, of course, endeavor to get this back for you. Will it be at this launch price? I don't know. Will you have the flexi pace? I also don't know. Will we, be even will we even be able to get it back at all? None of that is a promise. So um, if you want it, it really is uh, making your mind up time. Right, don't forget any questions you've got. Please do get them into me. Studio at creatingcraft.com is where you need to send them. It is going as quickly, Tony, in this show as it was in that launch show earlier. Such an amazing response to this. Thank you so much, everyone. Do you know as well, when I brought these to you and I did the sneak preview, because we always link it in with Create and Craft, I said we'd really upped our games with these gowns and we sold a ton before we came to wear. I was a little bit worried then, but... There is none left after these go, but I will be reordering them um, in the new year and we'll get them through February, maybe. So, you know, they won't be here until then, though. So enjoy them while you can. <coughs> right, I'm going to use, if it's all, is it all right to demo, Joe? Yes, please, you press on. Thanks, darling. So I'm going to use Stay Wonderful, which is the second gown, but I'm going to incorporate those wonderful 3D embossing folders because those embossing folders come for just over £10 in the bundle. You know, so it's a great, great um, show price and offer. So I'm going to do a monochromatic gown this time. So last show, we did the really colourful ones with the lovely detail. We've just done a bright pink one. So let's change it up a little bit and do like a monochromatic, like a grey scale and then a black outline. So I'm doing it onto watercolour card here, but you do not have to. The ones that I did earlier were just on white cardstock. So, solid portion of the stamp. I've just popped it on there. So, let's get... Um, I'm going to use an oxide, I believe. So, let's get some ink on here. And I'm just going to... Let's swipe. And this is a beautiful thing about lamination. You know, colour, play around with colour. Swipe it, stamp it, spray it, play around. So much fun. So, what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to spray the stamp. But you have options. You can spray the card if you want to. I've got a nice blob of blue on there. Um, so I'm just going to spray the stamp and let's push it down. Let's see what it's going to look like. Very dark by the look of this. <laughs> so push, push, push. So it's on watercolour card, so it's given me that rustic feel, but I want it to bleed a little bit. I want to make it even more um, stylized than this, like, sterile look. So I'm going to give it a little bit of a spray with some water. And I'm just going to let the ink just sort of like push out just a little bit. So it makes me look like um, I've been a little bit artistic. I've added some splats and things like that. And it's just doing its own thing. So then all I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my gun. And just dry it off. Now if I try and put my outline on this in black ink, it's just going to get totally, totally lost. I don't know how I've got, I've got a bit of blue going on as well. Not sure how that's happened, but anyway. So what I'm going to do is, because this has gone darker than I anticipated, I'm definitely not going to put it in thin. I'm going to do my outline in an embossing powder and wait for the wow factor on that one. So let's just heat set this. Yeah, it looks like a hot mess. The one that we... Um, I'm, a big, I'm a big advocate of seeing your cards through to the very end because your cards 
come from making mistakes. But if you want a sterile look, this is the one that we did where I didn't spray it earlier in show, so I didn't spray it. So look at the layers and texture in that gown. And look how different it looks when you add some water. <laughs> Gorgeous. I'm not going to lie, Tony. I mean, I have complete faith in you at all times, as you know. But I, I, let's say no. I'm interested to see where we go with this. <laughs> uh, wait, wait till you see this. <laughs> right. Now, a challenge on. I love a good <laughs> challenge. Um, anyway, so I'm going to use my anti-static bag here and I'm going to swipe all over this ink. Because I don't want the embossing powder to stick all over this. I want it to just stick where I'm going to stamp. So let's pop that in there. Let's get rid of that solid portion and let's bring in our detail. You have to buy me a Kit Kat, Joe, huh. when you see how cool this is. <laughs> I'll buy you two. Right. Oh, okay. Right, so let's pop this on here. So bearing in mind, because we've got sort of like a lot of details been lost in the background, I'm going to totally pull it back. So I'm going to push the gown over here. And then I'm going to pick up the stamp and I'm going to use a sticky ink pad, which is the one of the wow. And these are on the website, Joe, so if you want a sticky ink pad, it's the wow one. So I'm just going to um, ink up the stamp. Now I am going to, because I've got my Eureka and I'm using watercolour card, I really need to get into the tooth of the watercolour card. So I'm going to really push that detail into that watercolour card. Wait till you see this. So push, push, push. I'm going to do it twice. The detail's there. But I'm just going to make sure I get all that detail because I really don't want a hot mess. I'm, I'm feeling the pressure now, Joe. <laughs> Sometimes a hot mess can be so. fun. It's me most weekends, Tony, to be fair. I'm a lot of fun. Whilst well, being a bit of a hot mess. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, if all else fails with this one, there is a sample on your set. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> I, I, was, I mean, not to say that <laughs> I don't have complete faith, but I will start looking for it now. Oh. <laughs> oh, bless you. Listen, you don't have to, I promise you. All is safe. Right, so I'm going to use a gold embossing powder. You watch, I'm going to be like, eat my hat. Right. <laughs> Uh, Let me just grab this card. No, not that one. Let me just grab one of these cards here. And let me just use this embossing powder. So when you put your embossing powder on, so you can't see the detail yet because I haven't heat set it, but it's there. All of the detail in a gown is what is going to see. Where there's dark green on this packet, it's going to be gold on this one. You still holding your breath? Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will recover it, don't you worry. Right, so let's just heat set this one with my gun and I'll show you it heat setting through so you can get a true visual of exactly what it's going to look like because it's going to look lovely. Let's get you... So when you get your heat gun, make sure you get your heat gun hot. Less time on your card means less waves in your card. So get your gun hot... When your gun's hot, I'll see if I can get the changing of it as I'm doing it. Are you still are you still a bit dubious, Joe? Get ready. <laughs> Is he at garage getting me two Kit Kats? <laughs> I'm on the way to the vending machine. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'll tilt it forward for you in a second. All right, yeah, that looks pretty spectacular. Yes. Sorry about you, Joe. I, ye of little faith over here. I mean, I always knew. I always <laughs> knew you would, but no, that looks amazing. A but, really lovely different technique. But to be fair, though, Joe, it did, in all honesty, it did bleed a little bit and the colour was a little bit dark, but I wouldn't stop with this now, Joe. I would paint this flower in pink 
and bring it back through there. But another way as well, if you're thinking, do you know what? <gasps> Just wasted my watercolour card. Um, I like the gold. I'm not really keen on the black. Pop it back in your tool. Get the solid portion of the stamp again. This is what's so amazing about um, lamination. Get your solid portion stamp again. Pop it back on top. Line it back up best you can. Again, if you don't quite get it right, it's not the end of the world. And let's add a little bit of another colour in, in there as well. So let's see if we can get a little bit of blue or teal in there. Let's put a bit of teal. So a bit of ink on here. I think I might spray it. What's the worst that could happen? And then if you press it down, what will happen is the gold will act as a resist. So it'll push it all away. I'll have to wipe it, but then the blue will sit on top of that black and maybe bring us back some of that detail we've lost. There oh, we go. Wow. Let me just get my tissue. I'll just wipe it off the gold emboss. Oh, it's amazing. And now I have my full, now I have my full gown back. Look at that. That's incredible. How wonderful she is that? She now has what looks there, a tealy gown. Absolutely amazing. It really is. And again, just scratching the surface, Tony, aren't we, with the you know amount of different techniques that you can do with these styles of stamps. That's why you've been doing this style of stamp for such a long time now. It's so successful, um, Joe. It's what put me on the map is lamination. And when you see all of the makes from my design team on set there, their imagination runs wild with them. We have some that really take it to the next level of artistic. We have design team members that bring it right back to clean and simple. And then we have ones that build layers, layers and texture on top of. And even Sharon on my design team, she's our best colorist. She use her, uses her alcohol markers. Sometimes she doesn't use the solid portion of the stamp. She's like, I'll skip a beat with that one. I'm playing around with my pen. So it sort of like ticks so many different boxes. It really does. And uh, ticking boxes it is doing at the moment at home because... It is over 80% of the stock gone of that world exclusive launch. You are the first crafters anywhere to be able to purchase uh, these brand new stamps. 302855, that's the item number that you need to make a note of. Grab it whilst it's your new and exclusive because, yes, it may come back. I don't know whether it will come back with a £21 saving. I'm not sure uh, you'll be able to get it with those flexible payments as well. 2249 today plus your postage. And then another 22.49 in a month's time. When you think about the different um, styles of card that you're going to be able to create, it's not just about making cards, but it's journaling, scrapbooking. There's a whole host of different things that you're going to be able to use these beautiful designs in. It is giving you a lot of craftability for a very reasonable price. 302 855. Uh, is again that item number that you need. You'll find this and everything else over on the website, createandcraft.com. That is where you need to head to uh, in order to uh, see everything that's in the show. It's so busy online at the moment. I said 80% of the stock has gone. That's people that have checked out their baskets. There's a lot of you at the moment with it sat in your basket. So what we're going to do, we'll take a really quick pause, give you an opportunity to check your baskets out, and then join us back here for more inspiration with Tony in just a few minutes. Hi, have you seen our brand new smart TV app? It's available right now and is a brilliant way for Freeview viewers to watch us live in high definition. You can watch us on both Create and Craft and Craft Extra and there's plenty of exclusive content for you as well, alongside your catch-up TV programmes as well. Now all you have to do is go to the bottom of the screen where there's a QR code. If you scan that, I'll take you through an in-depth view of the app and show you how to use it. That's our brand new smart TV app from Create and Craft and Craft Extra. Oh, how fabulous to see Janice there. We do uh, join you again. We are, of course, talking about that brand new, new and ex brand new, new and ex I did a double new there. Uh, <laughs> we are talking about your new and exclusive. It's a world exclusive launch, uh, of course, from Stamps by Me. You guys are absolutely loving this at the moment. Two stamp sets and, of course, those three embossing folders. If I was a betting man, I'd say it's nigh on... I don't. I can't imagine there being any stock left for the morning shows. There's meant to be one show in the morning tomorrow at 8 a.m. Can't see that happening at this rate because, as I said, we are over 80 percent now of our stock gone. Uh, if you again, if you've got any questions about anything in the show, please do get them into us. We really love hearing from you here at Crate and Craft. It is studio at CrateandCraft.com. Studio at CrateandCraft.com. That is how 
you can get in touch with us. Lots of you now checking out those baskets over on the website. So excited to see what you guys start creating with these the moment that you get them home. Let's cross uh, back to Tony, uh, though. I like your studio, Tony. It's very fancy. Very fancy. Cool, <laughs> isn't it? I've been working on this for a long time. Well, Tim has my partner, as you all know. But, yeah, it's just super posh. It Love looks it like here. it smells nice, which pleases me. It looks like it would smell good. I love a good... Yeah, it's very, it's very gorgeousness. Yeah, you always smell great, so I'd imagine it smells amazing there. Uh, <laughs> well, that's really kind. I'm being told off. Tony always smells amazing. Uh, anyway, Tony, uh, <laughs> where would you uh, like to go next? Joe. Joe, only mucky people get washed. <laughs> touché, right. touché. So... <laughs> so, uh, this is a piece of craft card, obviously. Um, so, I feel like, um, because I've just shown you, like, a quite a grungy spray one there, I'm going to try and pull it back a little bit for you to show you it in its natural form without any spraying, because I know people like that, but I know people like to see it in its natural form too. So, I'm going to change it up a little bit in the sense that we're not going to do it on white card, we're going to do it on craft, just to have a little bit of difference. So, let's get a colour here. Now, I have a, a abandoned coral oxide, so let's see what this is going to look like. This will probably complement the, the um, lovely craft card. So I'm going to ink up the dress in the coral. And this is to show you you can change it up. And let's do the lovely flower in a yellow. Let's just change it up. So if you contaminate colour, say, for instance, the yellow goes into the coral or vice versa, it's not the end of the world. These are artistic styles, should we say. So... If they bleed, that's what happens when we watercolour anyway, isn't it? So having that sort of movement in there is what adds to the finishing effect. So I'm going to spray. I'll just do it twice, and then let's stamp it onto here. Push, push, push. So I have a yellow flower and a corally coloured gown here. <gasps> Ooh, very nice. That looks, that looks gold, actually. I'm just going to add a bit more yellow to my flower. And what I would say to you at home is if you are sort of batch making with your stamps and things like that, do loads of backgrounds, loads and loads of backgrounds, and then let them all dry and then go and do the second layer on all of them and then um, add the detail part on all of them, then matte and layer all of them and you'll have a ton of cards like instantly. So there we have a yellowish flower and a coral coloured um, base there. So I'm just going to give it a little bit of a um, dry, but instead of stamping in black, I think we should try white. Why do I do these things live on air? So we'll stamp this one out. And let's try white. Now, it would look incredible in white embossing, wouldn't it? But because my white ink pad is so good, we're going to skip the embossing and go straight to putting the detail on in white. Now, watch what happens. So, just grab the detailed part here. I don't think I've seen many white ink pads, Tony. Talk to us about that. Because in the it, previously, they've been so hard to get, like, a true white, true, true white, um, and then they dry out after time. So, it's been really difficult, and it's been like that with white embossing powders, and WOW managed to get a true white embossing powder for the first time, and it's just gone from there. So, everybody's after that real, real white colour, so this is a true, true white. We sold thousands of these and we only launched them less than a year ago. So let's ink this stamp up in white and see what happens. What's the worst that could happen? Now, because it's a pigment ink as well, we can throw some embossing powder on it. We could do a bit of salt and pepper technique. Let's see what this looks like. And I think sometimes having these later shows... Oof, oh, I love that. Wait a second. I think it's, it's because gorgeous. it's sat on the oxide. You can just see the detail there, but because it's sat on oxide and it's pigment, you're not getting the true white. I'll link it up again. We'll try one more time. But what I was just about to say there, Joe, was um, I love the 8 o'clock shows um, because it gives you an opportunity to delve into a little bit more technique-based things. Because on launch, it's real manic. As we know, we both know. It's super <laughs> yeah, manic, isn't it? it so is. having the 8 o'clock show 
is um, super cool to be able to say to you, look, I swapped my, there we go. We swapped our outline out for a, a white ink pad or a, a grayscale ink pad or something like that. So you can see how we've now got like a white flowy gown under there. It looks absolutely transparent, really, if you wanted it to. But I'm just going to quickly move on to something else, just to keep going with the techniques, yeah. if that's all right. But I don't know if I'd want to wear so a, transparent, gonna... a transparent ball gown, though, Tony. Is that what you... What you it's all right if you've got pants on. Yeah, I guess so. I guess. <laughs> so this one then, let me just <laughs> let me just show you. Are you all laughing at me now? Well, as long as you've got pants on. There's only one person going to be cold. <laughs> <laughs> right, so let's just stamp this out in white, just in white on its own, not on top of a um, oxide. Just this sort of like this second layer. Let's see what that looks like. Ooh. There we go. So look, it looks nice. a bit parchmenty, doesn't it, a little yeah, bit? Yeah, it I does. Think it's a bit today, make looks, it a bit darker. It looks great. And also remember, any of these, you're loving these hints and tips and techniques that Tony's giving you this show. Remember, you can watch these shows back for 60 days on the app as well. So you're going to be able to come back and watch this as soon as you get your new goodies home, which is always handy. Yep, so maybe I've done it in white and I'm thinking, oh, not sure. Let's get some embossing powder. Random, let's do salt and pepper here. So it's not like covering the whole stamp, it's just sort of like in areas. So let's just pick up. So I've still got some of the white show through there. Um, Joe, you can see that there? Yep, beautiful. Just a little bit, but we've got a little bit of the gold, so I've not covered it all, just parts of it. And this is going to give us another look again, so let's see it set this. But remember it as well, as it is stamp, the stamp, of course, part of your unit exclusive too. Details on the screen there, 302 855. Fast on our way to limited stock on this. Remember, it is a world exclusive for you. As well, if you want to be the first class to get your hands on it, the time is now. So you've got uh, the two different stamp sets, and then you've got those three embossing folders in there too. You save £21. And you've got flexes, which is also awesome. Oh, this looks amazing what Tony's doing here. Love that. So maybe you're doing invites on vellum. If you did them all in gold and you didn't want to use the watercolour element of it, you totally do not have to. But now say, for instance, right, you've done the second layer. Oh, maybe I want some colour in now. Maybe she would look better with a little bit of a nice soft gown in there. Let's put some colour on her. Why can't, can we put some colour on? Of course you can put some colour on. You can pick up a pen if you want to. But let's pop some orange. We haven't done it. Mind you, orange is a little bit blendy in with our craft, but we'll give it a go. So solid portion again. Pop her back on. So there's no rules to the system. You, don't, you can work from the solid line out to the um, detail if you want to so i'm just gonna not that i mean look how dark is that that is ridiculous come on tony i know it's late but that is just like silly so <laughs> let's just take some of that off because it's gonna cover all my gold and how then do i'm gonna you spray it with a bit of water as well how do you recommend we look after our stamps tony you know lots of people do it in lots of different ways how do you uh, what do you do to yours to keep them nice and fresh I just put them back on the carrier sheet and pop them back in the envelope, Joe, um, because it's... Let me just grab the um, envelope. So it's eco-friendly packaging, Joe. We pay extra for this. You have a visual on the front. This is the most important thing, and we ask that you just stack them so Perfect. you can see them and just enjoy them. So I'm just using a tissue here to take the colour off my gold, and then I'll hold this up and show you. So I've got subtle hues of white. I have the gold outline. And now I have a very nice orangey corally colour just in the background there. How glorious. Absolutely beautiful. Another really, great... Really, really Pop these in a frame if you want to. And another great idea of how to use it, I think sometimes we think about, you know, making a finished card every single time we do something. But that's just a really gorgeous topper there. And remember, if you want to start playing around with these techniques, then it all starts with you getting your hand on the new and exclusive. 302855, that's the item number that you need. We are approaching limited stock on this, so I think... 
the likelihood of there being a show in the morning is slim to none. Uh, what I would also say is if you are watching this on repeat overnight, please check uh, the website for the current stock situation because it is really busy at the moment. 302855 is your item number. You save £21, remember, and we're giving you those two flexible payments. So 2249 today uh, and another 2249 in a month's time. Two gorgeous brand new A5 stamp sets and those three embossing folders included for you there as well. And you are the first people globally uh, to be able to get your hands on this, which is fantastic. If you want to order, now's a great time to do so, whilst we've still got the stock. Uh, 302855, crateandcraft.com. That is where you need to head to. That's where you'll find absolutely all the information that you need. You can hit, uh, the, go to the show page and you'll find all the goodies that are available to you. But again, looking at some of the amazing things that you can do with not just the stamps, but also the embossing folders. And the embossing folders are brilliant. They are going to work beautifully in conjunction with your stamp, stamps, but you can absolutely use them on their own too, just as you can any ele element of the stamp collection as well. It will split down. Uh, and you'll be able to take elements away. I'm sure use them in other collections, you know, using uh, other brands that you have got. They are designed in a way that they are very versatile, which is awesome. Just don't miss out on it. I mean, we will try and get these back, as Tony said, but it could be February in the new year. So 302855 is your item number. Right, I, I remember any questions you've got, studio at creatingcraft.com if you want to get those into me. Uh, but let's head back to Tony and see what she's got planned for the rest of the show. <laughs> I just want to just show you these two cards here, Joe, where they're just in same colours. So same coloured ink pad on the solid portion and on the exterior. Just to show you, um, you do not have to do any technique-based um, things like I've been showing you this evening. I've just used the opportunity to show you some different ways of using them. But if you want to use them in their simplest format, these are the types of cards. Um, spray with the light green and then add the dark green and you have lovely, exquisite, handmade, painted cards. Well, they look painted, but, you know, we're not going to tell anybody. So let's get into this next demo. So I'm going to use my stamp set as a little bit of a background, and I've gone for all the love, and that one is the one with the green gown. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the stamp very quickly. In fact, you know, I could do it with speed on a block. Let's just pop this on a block, because I'm just going to repeat stamp here. So I'm going to ink up the stamp, and I'm going to do all the love there. I'm just going to repeat very quickly all the love. And I'm guessing as well the Down sentiments within side. these collections. You're going to you're going to take these away from these collections and use them elsewhere with the other collections that you've got, Tony. Absolutely. I always make sure, Joe, that the sentiments you have in your set are um, ones that can be used with any any um, line that you're using, whether it be from another brand or, you know, another Stamps By Me product, because not always do we put sentiments in. I do try and put sentiments in everything, though, simply because if you're buying for the first time, you're going to need a sentiment for your project, whether, you know, you buy from me or somebody else. So I always try and pop a sentiment in there. Um, but equally, yeah, they'll work across the board, as all of our sentiments do. So I'm just going to... You know, that was absolutely by chance that this piece of card worked to the length of getting all those sentiments on there. That was just an absolute fluke. There we go. So, instead of using the gown in full format, so it's all on show, let's use her in half so it looks like she's to the event or something like that. So, um, I'm going to use the lily one this time, and we're just going to go with a nice colour. So, the solid portion... I'm just going to do it down here so she's coming off the page. And we'll just pop her here. And I think we'll go with... Um, try camera running out of colour ideas. Let's go pink, purple and teal this time instead of pink. So I showed you in the last show, let's go pink at the top. Sorry, purple at the top, Tony, what are you talking about? Teal at the bottom. And then if you want to get the blend, the sort of ombre blend, if you just get your blending brushes, and you just blend them together, the colours like so, pat, 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 drag the colour down one side. It just gets rid of that harsh line with um, the ink pad, because the ink pad's obviously rectangular, so I'm going to end up with a line. So all I'm doing is pat, 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 and then I'm going to spray with some water twice, three times sometimes, it depends what you're stamping on, two, push it down, and then hopefully the card will drink the ink, and we'll end up with a lovely design from her there. And you Beautiful could do this with the other gown too. Yeah, so just blast that one off very quickly and then we'll add the detail. 
in a black ink pad. And then there's nothing stopping you from going into that lily and adding sparkle, sparkle pens, mediums, whatever you have in your stack. So let's swap that out for the detail. So just pop the detail on. And I just like to line up the straps. Super easy. You line up the straps, everything else will look after itself. And then we'll do we'll just do it in black because as you've seen, I've tried to show you in different colours, but it doesn't quite show on camera, which is a little bit annoying, but I think you get the idea. So let's just do it in black. But it would look beautiful in a purple or a teal too. Um, And then um, I'll just see if I've got a nice... I've got a ton of sparkly stuff going on down the side of me. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Nice, isn't it? Right, so let's just get um, a sparkly. Let's just see if I've got one to hand. Sparkly pen, come on. Ooh, I have. So sparkly pen, I'm just going to colour in the lily. And I think that's all we need. Let's just show you. Amazing the speed at which you can put these together, considering they look so I intricate, know. Tony. I know, it's so cool, isn't it? So I'm just going to point an error out here, guys. It's not obvious. You might have seen it, some of you might, but it's not too obvious. But can you see I've stamped a gown a little bit high and it looks like she's got a line on her, on her chest, just here. Oh, yeah. Did you notice it, Joe? No, nope, wouldn't that's have known. I've gone too high with the stamp. Okay. But, as I said, you know, if you don't quite line it up, it is not the end of the world. They're so forgiving. I'm not happy I've made that mistake, but it just shows to you what I say is correct. You know, if you don't quite line them up, it doesn't look horrific. It's not a card that needs to go in the bin. It still works. No, it really is still beautiful. I think the great thing about it is because they're, they're in that sort of quite painterly style, aren't they, that they are going to be forgiving. Yeah. And that's brilliant, especially if you are someone that stamped, it was, has started stamping recently, you know, you're really struggling to come to terms with it. This style is going to be great for you. At the same time, if you are an experienced stamper, you're going to really love trying some of those more advanced techniques. Wherever you sit on the scale, of stamping prowess, however, you're going to have to be quick because uh, we are approaching limited stock. 302855, that is your new and exclusive. We launched it a little bit earlier today. So incredibly busy. Such a massive response to this. 65.97 is what you would be looking at ordinarily as a, com a combined value. Uh, this one today, 44.97, but you only need to give us half of that because it is on FlexiPay which is awesome, 22.49 today and 22.49 in a month style. What I really love about this as well, it's not occasion specific, it's not age specific really in any way. It's something that you are going to be able to have in your stash and use for an abundance of different occasions. You know, there's probably so many people immediately you could think of that you could send a card to from this particular collection. And that is the joy of having really well-designed craft products that allow you to do not only lots of different techniques and styles, but also something that is really giftable as well. 302855 is your item number. I know Tony's trying to squeeze as much as you can into the end of the show. I can see her standing by over there. So let's head back. Thank you, Joe. So quickly, I'll show you a handful of samples then. If it's okay, I'm just going to do a quick demo with the embossing folder because I feel like they've lost they've lost the moment because the gowns have taken the lead. But you do get them all, so I'm going to try and squeeze that in. But this is the gown in orange, so you can see there. Here we have it in lilac with a little bit of sparkle in that lily there. So this is just a lilac ink pad. And then we have it in blue in a frame again. So you can really build them up. These are the embossing folders on the exterior here. Absolutely wonderful. So earlier in the show, ladies and gentlemen, I did this magnolia. So I inked it up in white. So you can see this is the magnolia that's in the kit. So if you bought the kit, you've got so much excitement coming your way because this is truly beautiful. So I'm just going to use a piece of the pattern paper. This is on the show and it comes with three different embossing folders so you can do this technique and it's the elegant gold. So I'm just going to pick one of the dark sheets. The darker, the better. Oh. Please use them. Don't just look at them like I do. <laughs> um, and then grab one of your embossing folders from your, from the set. I'm just going to tear this off. In fact, I'll cut it with my scissors. And again, 
all-time favourite technique, I did it in the other show, is if you ink the embossing folder up, I'll show you a, de a sample I did earlier, very quickly. So you see this one in the background here? I inked the embossing folder up in blue, so I got all of that texture and layers in there with the blue gown and then the sentiment in there. But let me just show you if you don't ink up, that one's inked up, this one's not inked up. So I'm just going to feel the embossing folder. There's a rise and a fall. The bit that's risen is going to push through to the front so that it's there. So pop a T or top or front so you know which way. Just going to pop the cardstock in. And we'll just run this one through super quick. And this is sort of like the bonus of this collection. Now, these flowers do work beautifully, work within the gowns as well. It's just that I've not had a moment. The excitement of just the two-part lamination has overtaken. So if there's anything left in the morning, I'll try and build them in. I don't think there will be, but um, we'll see. So let's just... Um, might have to use some of the lamination, oh, lamination florals in the morning. They are me. They're all my faves. So let's just run this one through very quickly. So when you do it, you can't see the design. It's there, but you can't see it. So let me show you how you bring it to life. Now, if you don't have a white ink pad, okay, if you just use a light colored ink pad, it'll work. So you might not have a white one, but use something in your stash that's really light. So then all you're gonna do is you're just gonna take your ink pad and you're just gonna press it onto the design and then the design will come to life. Are you ready? Oh, can we see it's coming through there? So I'll just rattle the design. Tap, tap, tap. And the good thing about our pigment ink is because obviously it has that oil-based consistency, which pigment ink pads do have, if I get it anywhere I don't want it to go, I can just blend it out with my finger. So now that looks like a piece of pottery to me on that beautiful, beautiful textured background. So literally all I need to do now, can we just throw this to the front because I think it's... So that is one that's wet, and this is one that's dry for Millie. So you get these embossing folders in that kit. Stunning, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. With Absolutely the white, it's amazing. Absolutely beautiful. It really brings gorgeous. it all to life. These would make great Christmas cards if you wanted to. And if you wanted to as well, pick up a uh, paintbrush, paint round the design, add the halos, add the textures. You can see them on set there where the lovely design team have played around with some colour. Absolutely wonderful. Your embossing folders are work off as one will see you through the year. They really, really will. Yeah, they will. But you're going to need to be quick if you want to get your hands on them because they are approaching... They are actually, in fact, limited stock. So what happens? What does that mean? Well, limited stock means that less than 10% of our starting stock is now available so um i would imagine this will probably go overnight if you are watching this on a repeat uh overnight then please check the website for the current stock situation because it is very busy 65.97 is your combined value uh you are looking at under 45 pounds as a club member to get this before anyone else globally is which is amazing and it is of course on two interest free flexible payments as well which is brilliant tony it was an absolute pleasure as it always is to spend some time with you i'm giving you a virtual hug uh you're back with us at 8 a.m 8 a.m 8 then i'm back on the 10th so i hopefully see you soon ah uh, well if i don't speak to you again have amazing christmas uh won't you lovely to see your face you too, uh, darling. as ever and Take hopefully care. i'll get to see you uh, in the flesh really soon thank you tony bye bye uh remember we bye. are bye. almost out of time you are not you can of course uh Keep shopping after the hour, which is amazing. But 302855, that's the item number that you need to make uh, a note of. Uh, and then, of course, head on over to the website, creatingcraft.com, because you'll find your new and exclusive on the website. You'll also find absolutely everything else that we have available for you. And also, whilst you've got a flexi basket open with your new and exclusive, why not see what other goodies fall into your basket? Go and have a little look at the Stamped by Me brand store as well because there's lots and lots of awesome goodies for you but again just having one last look at that new and exclusive those two brand new a5 stamp sets and those three embossing folders which are going to play together with it beautifully as well it's been an absolutely glorious hour very very busy uh, make sure you come back and join tony tomorrow at 8 a.m but don't go anywhere because myself and dj riz are on the way next uh -uh. <laughs>